Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. This is another Android applications review, so it's available for any Android device, but it is a book reading application. So it is suited to a tablet. And it is called... Cool Reader, a uh, EM book reading application which can read many documents and it is free. The reason why I use uh, Cool Reader instead of a stock application is because of this. When I load up the application, often it doesn't work. For example, we have a black screen here, it doesn't look as though it's doing anything. If I swipe my finger, all of a sudden it looks as though it's working and it seems to uh, read relatively well if I sweep through a couple of pages. However, the more pages I sweep through, the less it seems to work. As demonstrating now, it simply can't keep up with my finger. So, it has uh, lots of problems and I eventually gave up on the application. So, if we move on to Cool Reader, we'll see how that handles things. Loads up the book fairly quickly. And... Seems to be coping absolutely fine with all my uh, speedy swipes. And as you can see, the page is uh, displayed effectively exactly how I want it to. This program is very customizable, so you can do many things with it. As you can see, I put like a double page landscape mode on. It has uh, page numbers at the top and so on. And if I undock it, and then just wait for it to reload the book, because I've detached it from the dock, and then turn it to portrait mode and it should resize itself in just a second there we are and then I can resize it and it should go double page once again when I do that as demonstrated there so it's a wonderful uh, application uh, to use. The one word of warning is that um, this isn't as, as user friendly as other applications. It, it does take a lot of setup to get this page looking the way it does um, if I click on the options button here, the, you'll see that there's a plethora of options. You can do, you can um, modify basically every part of the page, from font face to font size to the interline space, the hyphenation, and so on. You can adjust the uh, screen brightness and so on. There are a lot of options here, and it does take a lot of adjustment to do it. Um, the one thing that I had to spend a particular amount of time on is changing the actual screen mode in terms of its text colour, background colour, um, background texture, and so on. So some options are fairly explanatory, such as the uh, landscape pages, putting it from uh, one page to two pages, and orientation and so on. Uh, but some of the uh, options further down, such as uh, just getting the right background colour, because it doesn't have a sepia tone setting automatically, you've got to do it yourself to set the background uh, to a sort of more comfortable reading um, display uh, rather than just a white background. You can also customise a lot of keys which is obviously very useful because it does take advantage of the uh, uh, keyboard here, it will, t will take commands but again that took quite a lot of time and uh, here are all the options here that you can select with a double tap uh, single tap, use the volume controls to make changes and so on. Uh, if I just go back to my book for a second uh, the changes I've made are that I use my left and right keys uh, here to scroll pages as you can see. I can use my up and down keys to um, change uh, about uh, 10 pages or I can press the up and down key to change actually the font size if I press and hold it. So if you watch hopefully if I press up you'll see the font size, font size change. There we are. It took quite a long time to do it, but it did uh, change. And then if I just press down again, and hopefully this time you'll see the entire page change its font. Uh, like so. Uh, I've also adjusted a bit one of the settings so that if I have my f uh, put my thumb down on this uh, left-hand side, I can actually change the setting. Uh, the brightness setting automatically there. So um, there are a lot of options to uh, change. Um, it doesn't come... Uh, 
it's not an in out of the box solution in terms of configuration. You do have to do a lot of configuration. I don't want to change my settings too much because it took uh, quite a while to get to these settings. But that's its greatest strength and perhaps its weakness in the fact that you can change it to look exactly how you want. Um, you can also uh, set up some dictionaries, although you do have to download dictionaries uh, in order to do that. So if I just click double tap on there, that will set a dictionary. And I think if I press uh, that button, it will launch uh, the dictionary um, application that I set up to be compatible with it. Uh, so there is no dictionary within the application, but that's just a minor point. Overall though, this is an excellent book reading um, application, and although I would say that Mantano is a uh, very comparable the one thing that Montana doesn't have is the double page landscape orientation if it did uh, then it would be a very close battle between the two but for now I recommend cool reader any questions please to ask thanks for watching everyone see you in another video